G'day mate and welcome to Dyson's View with me, Judy. Yes, the time has arrived. The dark fog has risen and it's our time to get even. So we're going to be jumping straight into a new game. I have already picked out a seed that we'll be playing on today. And it is uh, 4274-7197. It is one I've actually been streaming over at Twitch. I've already played this seed a little bit today, streaming over at Twitch. And I've chosen the seed for a number of reasons. The biggest one is actually uh, Jedi Posterior. This type O star. Oh, there's a safety factor. Okay. What's the safety factor of the black hole? Zero. Cool. So it's not very safe. Cool. Uh, it's not going to be fun to get to, but once we get to it, uh, we're going to set up our home base out here, right out at the edge of the system, uh, far away from the neutron star and our black hole. Uh, these are the two places where the dark fog is the worst. So we're going to be going to the far end of the system, even though the safety factor is not that high. Yeah, maybe we're going to stick in the inner section of the universe for a little while longer. We will see. We do have a blue giant. Uh, it should be all right for a Dyson Sphere. But um, yeah, I want this type O. Uh, so this is why I've chosen this seed. We are going to leave the Dark Fog settings as is. I'm not going to tweak any of them. Because I want this to be um, the same as you could experience at home. If you want to play along, like I said, my seed is. We've already read it out. It'll also be down in the description below. If you want to play along the same seed, by all means, you can. Uh, this is really designed as a tutorial series, so I'm going to be skipping over some parts, but not a heap. I really want to try and explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it as I do it, because uh, this is my fourth, fifth season of Dyson Sphere, and I really, really enjoy the game, and I've been waiting on this update for quite some time. Anyway, uh, I should also mention, as I said, I've already streamed this once over at Twitch. You should come join me over at Twitch. Uh, we are streaming Dyson Sphere all this weekend, and I already gave away one key, and I'm going to be giving away another key over, well, the next two streams. So yeah, you should come join me. Anyway, we're gonna hit start game. The unknown, created in exploration. The seed evolves in iteration. From zero, transforming into infinity and beyond. It spreads and becomes the shadow of the galaxy. The stars dim. You will embark on a new journey. Yes, a new journey with new friends. So we are heading into the Hercules system with that is the current seed. And um, well, it's like four o'clock in the afternoon. Welcome to yep. the real universe. Very soon. You'll find this place different from our homeland. But you should be able to adapt to the laws of physics here in no time. I'm your advisor. I will assist you in completing this mission. Now the advisor has been turned off wherever possible, because uh, I will be your tutorial. We don't need to listen to him. I will tell you everything that you need to know about Dyson. Everything here belongs to you. As a member of the Cosmo, a pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster from ground zero. Make use of the resources available here to build a Dyson Sphere that supplies energy to the center brain to maintain homeland simulation. I've chosen a planet for the mission, and there are essential resources for the initial development. Now, please pilot the space capsule toward this planet. Yeah, we're aiming right at it. But, um, there is... Oh. There is a small problem. Uh, this little problem here. Uh, this is the dark fog. It's already on this planet. Uh, it's on every planet. Yeah, so we're going to have to um, deal with that eventually. Probably sooner rather than later. Now you're about to arrive at the target planet. Which is odd, because normally he has a whole cutscene where he tells you about the dark fog right now. And... um. He's not. So I'm guessing when I turned off some of the tutorials, maybe it turned off that part as well. 
I don't know. Uh, but let's land and let's get started. Now, we're poor. We're poor. We're in Burner City. Uh, automation is going to be few and far in between. So it's going to take us a while to get up and running. But um, I hope to get up an automated science at least in today's episode. So first thing we need to do is we need to pick up, well, our landing capsule. It's full of resources that we're going to want to use. And um, it's going to make our life a little bit easier. Also, I should mention that the origin of the dark fog uh this little thing here if you want to read it i suggest you pause the video it's a very good backstory uh but with that picked up i need to ask a very important question i like asking these important questions right side of uh episodes and brand new series i just like to borrow a like i like to borrow a like i like to borrow a like now we skip the cutscene because well you know it helps out with the channel now if you didn't enjoy the video you didn't think your the video is worth your like by all means you can have it back, but in the meantime, can I just borrow it? So, uh, first thing we want to do, jump to research. I want to get uh, the first research up and running. We're going to need this. We're also going to need logistics. Uh, with my logistics, I'm going to need to be able to smelt things. And I also need to assemble things. That's going to be our first four researches. Which means I need to get some automation up and running. Oh, sort of automation. Yes, pseudo automation. First thing we're going to do is press F for freaking handcrafting. Uh, I'm going to want to make, uh, I'm going to set this to 10. So each time I click this button, it's going to try and craft 10 if I can. I'm going to craft five for now, but I get two per craft. I want to get that up and running. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is we're going to have Icarus, well, work his way over to the iron and start picking up iron bit by bit by bit. Uh, he's just going to mine that by hand because we're going to need that to um, we'll get a whole lot of stuff done. Yeah. Uh, okay. With that running, uh, next thing I'm going to need is, well, research is about to finish. There we go. With research finished, I get a free miner, which we're going to be putting right here. It's going to cover all the ore that we have available, which is helpful, sort of. Uh, we're also going to put in our one wind turbine. That's going to be very, very important to get uh, automation up and running. I want to craft another one of these, another two of these, uh, because we're going to want to do the same with copper. Copper, I want to mine that little patch around the back. Because it's an awkward position. Yeah, that's all right, Icarus. You just run right over top. Uh, I can hold down Control and left click on this if I was a little bit closer to pull the resources out of it. Good job, Icarus. Thank you. All right, and I want to put my copper miner uh, there. As you can see, I can't quite get the patch that I'm currently hand mining, hence why I'm hand mining this one. All right, uh, we're going to throw down our wind turbine here. And uh, I have another wind turbine being crafted. I do. And it's on the way. Okay, can I move and pick up all the resources out of that? And all the resources out of that. Okay. Uh, next thing I need to do, get the next research up and running. I need to have 10 of these. So again, we're going to cram this up to 10 and click that button. Also, I'm going to need 10 of those. So we're going to click that as well. I want to put a power pole about here and join the two networks together. Okay, whilst we wait, uh, we're going to have Icarus do very important things, and that is pick up any resources off the ground. Just decommission all the trees, because they are the true enemy. Also, grab any rocks we can. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of bonus resources, which we can always burn in Icarus's fuel cell to make sure he keeps up, well, the lights on and keeps being able to handcraft and do things. Uh, and yeah, I just want everything. I also want that, 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 and that to go away. Uh, okay, so we've done half of the recipe. We're doing the other half right now. And then straight after that, I'm going to want another one of those. Uh, plus, I want one of those. Any of the buildings I'm doing in sets of ones, I don't need sets of ten just yet. But in the not-too-distant future, we'll, we'll, we'll be cranking up to ten as well. And I need to keep trying to grab resources out of those buildings as often as I remember. Okay, so this is almost done. And our miner is on its way. Okay, so this is going to give us belts. And that'll be a helpful start. But it's not going to give us everything we need. Okay, with our belts. Okay, we can now do a couple of things. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to run some belts out of this building. And I'm also going to throw a few more of those in the crafting queue. And we're going to throw in our next miner here on coal. Uh, it's going to be important we have a future power source in case anything ever goes bad. So we're going to throw down a miner there. I'm also going to throw in another wind turbine here and preferably one here in the middle once it's crafted. Uh, can I grab all these trees and rocks and different things? And as long as you hold shift, you can keep queuing up 
more things for Icarus to pick up. Uh, wind turbines there to extend out the power network. If we click on this, we can see that our grid's currently in 50%. So we've got plenty of free power currently. Uh, I need to have 10 of these magnetic coils again to get that crafted. Uh, so we're going to select, well, get them crafted. Uh, we're also going to uh, grab that, 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 that. All these trees, because I'm about to build here. And if I build over them, they disappear and I don't get the resources. And I'd much prefer it if I got the resources, because I can burn this stuff and keep the lights on. All right. Uh, so they're being crafted right now. I would like to craft belts definitely in stacks of 10, because they're reasonably quick to craft, providing you're not also smelting the iron, which I'm happy to do in my inventory. Uh, or actually... Can I craft that instead? I'm going to need bricks for the next step. So let's get some of those done. And again, Icarus just head around and clean up everything he possibly can as fast as he possibly can. And I'm going to keep remembering to pull the resources out of those guys because, well, we want them running. If they're running, uh, it means at least we have access to the resources. Even if we're not going to use them right this second. Okay, so we have the resource required for this research. Next one after that is going to be automation. Uh, also, I have, um, well, a friend. A planetary base on the other side of the island. The, uh, well, the island. The uh, planet. Which is not happy to see us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my wood is not doing great. We're burning power faster than we're making power. It's fine. We'll fix that shortly. Right, so uh, that is our smelting. We want to go and place a smelter. Thank you. Uh, here, here, and here. And I also want to place. Uh, okay, can I get the belts first? Uh, can I get sorters afterwards to actually automatically put things in the buildings? And uh, grab that, grab that, and then move to there. And also going to need more wind turbines. I'm going to be using wind turbines for power poles. Uh, the main reason being that uh, they're quick, they're convenient, and not only do they transmit power anywhere inside this blue area, well, they also um, make power. Yeah, that's going to be the two reasons I'm going to be using them. Uh, we're going to throw you right there. Okay, so with that done, uh, we can automatically start making iron. It's going to be helpful. It means I don't have to handcraft the iron plates anymore. But I also need to do the same with copper, except I'm pretty sure copper needs to go on that line. We're not going to make it too big yet, because I want to get uh, more stuff. Uh, I no, I actually need some of the iron ore back. Can I have iron ore back, please? Uh, and I need one, two, three of those, at least. Okay, no, cancel, cancel everything. I didn't get the research. Okay, so I want 10 of those, and I want 10 of those. Then I want uh, one, two, three of those things, and then I think we're good. Uh, I have belt, I have a couple of sorters. I'm gonna need more sorters, another 10 of those, and then we'll go back to trying to pick up all the resources I possibly can off the ground. Uh, rocks are gonna be important, because uh, rocks are gonna give us Stone. Stone turns into both bricks and glass. Not that I have a need for either of them yet, uh, but I will have a need for them. Well, I do have a somewhat of a need for them, and I could automatically start mining them with a miner, but as long as I'm proactive in having Egress go around and clean up stuff, I can get away with not automating it for an extended period of time. So we're going to choose to do that, at least for now. And you just need to do a 180. All right, so now I have access to the assembler, which is going to be great. Uh, I'm going to want all four of those that I can craft. And we want to grab all the resources from these guys. Okay. I want to put you there and you there, except I want to change your recipe. I want you to do that, and I want you to do that. We're going to need to have magnets, which need iron ore as well, and another power pole. Uh, can I get a few more of those? All right, with that done, I need to have... You, uh, okay, we're going to have you output this direction, and I'm going to have you output that direction as well. I want to have, uh, question, Jetty. Okay, I'm going to want to have, 
let's go with there. I'm going to want you to output this direction. And I'm out of belts. Let me craft some more belts, please. And Icarus's power cells. I found two bits of oil in one of the... Um, one of the trees. So we're going to definitely convert that into something more useful, like power. I want you to output there. I want you to output there. I want you to output there. And actually, second thoughts. I reverse that belt and remove that one. And we're going to throw in our assembler here. And we're going to run the belt there. Okay, this assembler is going to start making our very first part of science. I, I want to have science up and automated. Uh, come on, belt. Stop being difficult. Hook to there. And now remove that. Cool. I want to have science up and automated uh, before the episode's done. Okay, so I want uh, you to make green circuits. That's going to be the important thing. And that requires uh, two bits of iron and one bit of copper. So that's what I need to have up and running. So that means I need to have a smelter uh, in... I've got a little bit more room than I thought. Uh, let's go with there. Okay, can we bring our belt out and run it this way? And then we are crafting that slowly. And then I want a belt running that way, and I want a belt running that way. Okay, I want you to have input and output. You're going to be doing copper. And then I want you to have input of copper and then output of the circuits. You know, every one second I'm going to get two of them. Which means you're probably going to want more sorters than just the singular. Uh, can I also put in our... Too close to wind turbine. Can I move our wind turbines around and put you there? Uh, lack of item. Can I get another smelter, please? Okay. No, uh, that's the wrong direction. Direction matters with running belts. Okay, and a belt that direction as well. Okay, so step one is going to be green circuits, which means I can also hold down control, click on the machine, and pull out the circuits directly. I also want uh, more sorters. And if I can get the green circuits out myself, then that's going to speed things up because they're pre-automated. And one more. Uh, not one more. There we go, one more. Great. Uh, and I want another machine here. Yeah, that's unfortunate. No, no, I was one, one tile further back. Uh, can I be one tile? I can be. Great. Uh, we're going to quickly rearrange these. Can I run this belt this way? Uh, and run this belt this way? And we're going to throw you in there. I have a massive power problem. That's okay. We'll get there. Uh, you output to there. You input off that one. Probably with... Uh, you're only going to have one. Uh, I'd like to give you two, but it's not going to happen. And can I have you do copper? And if I click on the item and drag, I can then blueprint a few of them at once. Okay. You. I want another machine. So if I left click... Hold down shift, left click on the machine, and then press either the backspace or the tittle. Uh, I can then remove all the inserters and also remove the copied recipe because I want you... Actually, no, it doesn't remove the recipe. Uh, but I want you to do magnetic coils, which also requires copper, which we happen to have right here. So I'm going to have you output through this gap because I want to have both these items coming out this direction because uh, we're going to need them basically right away to start automating science. Speaking of science, uh, I need to get this researched. Okay, can I grab resource out of that, resource out of that, resource out of that, uh, a wind turbine here, which should power those guys up. Can I also have you start outputting? And you are not outputting iron or nearly fast enough to keep up with this, but that's okay, because this is our fledging little um, starter starter base. This is going to be barely running for quite some time. Can I have you have input copper? And then you should be working. And I want one more smelter. That, that's fine. 
I don't mind if you don't have sorters. And we're going to be removing that belt because you are not going to be hooked up to the belt in the future. Alright, so this should give me one item and two items. And helps if I actually. Can I just pick them up off the belt? Seven, eight, nine. Oop. That's all the items we need to actually have that running. And I want to have a wind turbine there and there to try and keep the lights on because it's not working so far. Uh, but I can steal those bolts. Alright, I need to have uh, probably more stone. Okay, grab that, grab that, grab that, Icarus. Uh, grab that bit of stone and then start heading back. Okay. Uh, so, that has unlocked our labs. I need to have a couple of labs up and automated, which requires glass, which requires stone. And I also... Where's the box? Don't I get a free box? I don't get a free box. Can I have a storage box, please? Okay. Uh, grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that. Uh, grab some copper out of these. Uh, I have a severe lack of iron. Okay. Hey, Chris, over here. I need you to grab some iron. Okay, now can I make more labs? Uh, no, because I need iron ore. I actually need those to be exact. Okay, so if I hold down control and left click on the belt, I can grab the items off the belt. Uh, also helps if I had some of those. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Uh, one, two, three. All right, so I want a lab. Uh, we're gonna dump a lab right here. I'm gonna bring my belts up past the lab and I'm gonna have the lab start making science. now. When the lab makes science, it's just going to make science. It's not going to actually do science. Do science needs to happen in a different lab that's not the one making science. This is how the game works. Uh, we also... No, go away. Uh, we also need to head back in the tech tree, and I need to choose more things to unlock. Now, so far, everything we've been picking has used, well, raw resources or some sort of intermediate. Uh, we're about to swap over to everything, as you can see is going to start using science packs. I'm going to grab a weapon system first, and then I'm going to grab the mech core second. Probably the other way around, actually. Yeah. Because I have iron and copper in my inventory ready to go. All right, I want to plug you in there and you in there. The recipe for this is one of each for three seconds. Okay, so as long as you have power with another couple of those, uh, you should be ready to go and we should be able to start making science. But Dyson Sphere makes things interesting by you being able to stack buildings one on top of one another. I want to take my output of science uh, in this direction. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. And I'm going to put a wind turbine right here, which will give us power. And then you guys will start making science packs. Okay. Science packs I can either put directly into Icarus. There we go. First science pack in 18 minutes. And automated. Not even manually crafted. Not bad. Uh, I can put the science packs into Icarus, or I can put them into another lab. All I need to do is change this lab's operations to actually doing research. And what we can do is we can out... Thank you. Cool. Output. And then input. Which is exactly what I'm going to do for now. And I'm going to stack three of these on top of one another again. And we're also going to... One, two, three. One, two, three. Craft a few more. Yep. Yeah. I want to have science going reasonably quickly because there's a lot of science I want to have done. Uh, I also want one of those, and I want a storage box here, and I want more storage boxes, two of those, and uh, give me that, give me that, and give me a strip of those, and a strip of those, with that, 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 and let's turn everything on, which means power's even worse. And I have one wind turbine to my name. Cool. Uh, power is fine, but I have some coal, so we're going to grab some coal, I'm going to grab some more coal, I'm going to put that in there, because, uh, Leafs have a power of 500 kilojoules, coal has a power of 2.7 megajoules, that's 2,700, way better, uh, you are going to take a minute to set it up, but I'm going to have you go directly to that building, and onto that building, and more wind turbines, okay, uh, I don't have a spare storage container. That's okay. This one will sort of work for now. No, it won't. It'll fill up far too quickly. Okay. 
Uh, labs are running. They're running as fast as they possibly can. Although, they're short on circuit boards because the sorters need to reach further. So we're going to give them two so they can um, hopefully move a little bit quicker. All right, uh, you. I want you to start making these. These are called bullets. They're going to be handy. Uh, I'd like a wind turbine right there. And then you should start automating bullets. Uh, here, have some copper. Also, Icarus, uh, make some bullets, please. Because a swarm is being launched. It is 400 meters that way. It is coming through this way. So we're going to need to go and hopefully meet them. Uh, can I grab that storage box that I wanted? Oh. Uh, in the storage box, I want to put all the important things, which is this and this and this and this and this, because these are all rare. All right, next thing I want to do is I want to open up Icarus. I'll take the ammo and put it in there. Sort of important if you actually load the ammo. Uh, can we craft some more? All right, uh, next thing we need to do is we need to press Z. Z brings us to combat mode. Uh, combat mode means when I point and click, I shoot. So that's what we're looking for. Point, click, shoot. Point, click, shoot. Now, Icarus has the weapons I've loaded, plus he has his own little laser thing, uh, which works just as well. And, or oh, almost as well. There's one more. There he is. You have one unit coming. You're going to come in probably just to our south. Pay attention. This way. Cool. Done. Ah, uh, one littered item. There we go. Uh, he drops one piece of soil pile. There you go. Uh, the enemy are carrying around soil. You heard it here first. All right. So we're going to just clean up and grab some resources whilst we're here. And that way we can debate what we can do next. What we're going to be doing next is going straight over to upgrades. I want Icarus to have as many upgrades as possible. Uh, so one extra construction drone. Please, please. It's 100 science packs, but it's very, very much worth it. Uh, I would like to get uh, two meters per second extra on the construction drones. Yes, please. Uh, I would love to get all of these, uh, but they're not critically important. Okay. What is critically important, critically important is unlocking new things. So I need to unlock uh, this one, smelting purification. That'll let me make uh, energetic graphite. Graphene, graphite, graphite, graphite. That's the one I want, graphite. Also, I want to unlock steel. Uh, they're going to both be very, very important uh, for us to unlock a few more technologies. I also want to make sure that we crank out a few of those. And I want to put all the gut, all the ammo in my pocket. Okay. Can I build wind turbine, wind turbine, wind turbine, lack of item? It's all right. We're getting there. Uh, special resource, special resource, special resource, that, 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 and that. Uh, can I put the... Nope, pull that out. And ah, I put the wrong fuel in. I want to save that. Okay. Grab coal out and fill Icarus up with coal. That is... Uh, came out of our landing pod. Very, very special. And I can't get another one of those for a very long time, which is unfortunate. Because I was hoping to save it. Okay. Can I grab uh, more of these? Because power is still not great. And at the same time, I want to... I want to do a few things. I want to... Matrix Labs. Can I get one, two, three? Cool. Double the size. Uh, power pole. Can I craft ten of those? So they just happen and I have some spares. And then... No. Uh, remove, remove, remove. Can I put that there instead? Yeah, I want one tile gap in the middle. I also want that belt to be a little bit longer. Uh, actually, probably a little bit longer even there. Yeah. And here's a storage box right here. Put a storage box right there. I'm going to make sure it has one in and two outs. This will be very important. That means stuff can come out fast and go in. Because, um, well, we're going to take stuff out of it eventually. Uh, okay, so they're done. We're going to remove that. I'm going to remove that. And we're going to throw our pole in here so I can wrap the science all the way back to where it started. And then uh, I'm going to throw down 
One, two, three, and one, two, three. I'm going to throw down six laps. And can I... Wind turbine, wind turbines, just click and drag, and more wind turbines. Cool. Uh, okay, you are going to be doing not that. You're going to be doing research, and I want you to have an input and an input. Cool. That should process science a whole lot faster. Uh, it is full stop and comma to copy recipes from one building to another. So that should be running about as fast as I can maintain it for right now. And in the meantime, we want to grab uh, one, two of those. I also want to grab more belts. This will need more belt. Also more sorters. And I also am gonna need let's set that to five now. At least five of those guys. Okay. Uh, so this should just about saturate our little starter builds. Okay. What little resources we can get off these two patches should now just about be um well, fully tapped out. Uh, I want to come from there with an itty bitty belt, nothing too special. I want to put in smelter, let's go with here and here. And then I want a storage, which I don't have, of course I don't. Uh, we haven't unlocked the recipe yet, but I can start smelting coal shortly into uh, more dense coal. Yeah, I know, you smelt the coal and it becomes more dense, don't question it, let's just move on. Uh, can I put a wind turbine there and can we start gathering? the resources here so like i said first episode what i really want to do is i want to have science automated it is now automated it's going to tick along at probably a higher pace than i require but then again i've played the game a few times uh i don't mind if well science flies yeah because it's fine if science flies when you're having fun uh but i do know my next iron patch is down there so i do want to get that set up uh okay so drones run a little bit faster that'll be helpful uh they're crafting they're crafting they're crafting this is the one that's gonna unlock the coal recipe that's gonna unlock the steel recipe i need to get steel up and running as well even if it's just a tiny little temporary build uh i don't have any smelters can i get cancel 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 okay can i get icarus come over here can i get you are short on copper, which I sort of expected, just because it's so far away. And you are short on uh, those, because the iron just doesn't make it that far. Yeah, I sort of expected that might happen too. Alright, what we can... I can't really... Yeah, no, they're, they're really saturated. Uh, okay, we're just going to have to deal with an absolute resource shortage, shortage for a little bit. Uh, okay, can I... I've got those. I need to make six. I think that was about six. And I also need to make some wind turbines. Okay, we're going to throw down miners. Uh, every 12 total nodes, so that's four. Uh, six. Uh, well over. That should be a whole belt's worth of iron. The max I can support currently with my current builds, but I can over tap it and it'll use the resource the resource patch faster, but I can potentially get a couple of belts out of it. Uh, realistically, we're not too worried right at the moment. I'm going to basically mine this planet dry probably faster than I would have hoped, but it is what it is. Uh, so I'm just going to try and maximize it as best as I can so we can go. Uh, Ooh, that was that research. Okay, go there to there to there. Throw that belt into there. Throw that belt into there and into there. And you know what? Uh, if I run the belt, rather than going up straight on the lines, if I press R, well, if I drag a belt here to here, I press R, it goes for the alternative route. If I press R again, it gives me a direct A to B route. Uh, it is the fastest way between two points is directly between, you know, a and B. So that's my plan. Uh, on top of that, really? It doesn't fit? Oh, it does fit. Okay. On top of that, uh, it saves me belt segments. And right at the moment, belt segments cost me resources and time. So I'd prefer to save anything I possibly can. I want to have six of you guys, so we're going to cut that off there. 
we're also going to put a in on the first one. I'm going to set you to be plates, and I'm going to run the belt out to the right. Yeah, let's go with the right. Okay, and we're going to throw an output. Oh. Output into there. Uh, then I'm going to select that, drag it along, select opposite to every one of them. I'm going to put a wind turbine anywhere I possibly can. There, and there, plus there, and there. That should be the whole lot powered, and good to go. Okay, so I'll give you more iron pre-smelted. Uh, there's lots of things I can do with that iron. Uh, namely... Uh, during those two power networks together. Namely, making belts. I'm going to need a lot of belts. Belts are convenient. They only need iron and gears. Uh, and if I run that through to there and put one of these here, we can probably have a machine. Come on. Uh, cool. I can now make steel. And also, more importantly, I can build turbines on water. I want to grab that research as well. And can I set you... Uh, can I set your recipe because we've got that research to do this one and copy and paste your friend Ooh. and power is still not perfect uh, but now I can build these guys in the water I can turn all that unbuildable area into at least something useful right down here as I was saying uh, that I needed more of these okay as I was saying uh, one's going to make belts. The other one right beside it is going to make gears. And then we're going to make sure the gears pass from machine one to machine two. And then I'm going to throw a storage, uh, not right beside it, but one past that. So we can throw a solder in there. And then hopefully a wind turbine. Yeah, here would be perfect. Cool. And then at the same time, I'm going to regret that I don't have another storage box. And we're going to throw in a storage box directly for gears as well. This one, we're going to cap to about that much. You're going to go through a lot of belt. An awful lot of belt. I'm going to grab all of these. And we're going to put you here. All right, back in the research. Uh, so we're doing this one. Uh, I want to grab... Okay, so I want to grab thermal power. We're going to be using that with oil. We're not getting into oil today, but I'm going to want oil in the future. I'm going to want liquid storage to go with oil. I want to have high efficiency plasma control because that is a requirement to unlock the oil. Uh, also want engines. We'll come back to engines in the future. Uh, mm, electric motors. These are now called actual engines. It's, it's a new thing. Uh, and this we're going to cap to just one slot. All right, so that should be that up and running as well. Okay. Uh, you guys are struggling because you don't have enough iron ore, but once you buff it up for a little while, you should be fine. We're going to throw that in there, that in there. You've unlocked combustion units, which I want to fix up in just a second. Uh, I want to grab the uh, energy graphite out of that. Uh, one, because it's more efficient to burn, but two, because there's an upgrade. Uh, where are we? That one. I want to grab that upgrade. Uh, which means I need to have, how much was it? It was 60 million for three. So I want to grab uh, thank you. I want to grab uh, okay, just all of that. Uh, I want to have 60 of both coal and the other one in my pocket. Ready to go. Yep. And also 60 wood being a whole stack. Cool. Then we have the resources ready for that research when we get there. Alright. Uh, research is powering through, and we also unlock steel. And I also don't have anything to burn. Can I grab half of that? No, half of that, please. Hello? There we go. Okay. And you know what? Give me more. Give me more. Okay. Uh, can I throw half of that in there? And just half of that in there as well. Alright, uh, we unlocked this one. The combustion unit. Okay, combustion unit is actually what I want to be burning in Icarus. I need to have some of this graphite, uh, and we're going to need that in the future. So I want to have that at least available. 
and this is like your starter coal patch which means it's pretty crap so i'm going to start putting that in a box but the other thing i want to do is have an assembler uh, also probably 30 wind turbines and we're going to have a couple of these guys start putting stuff into a box for us uh, can i craft five iron plates i guess through that iron in my inventory okay so you uh, and I can't build a second one. And that one. Okay, we're gonna craft, uh, as we unlock things left, right, and center. I'm gonna craft, craft a combustion unit. Okay, combustion unit costs three coal, uh, it takes three seconds. Uh, one coal is worth 2.7 megajoules. If I upgrade that into energetic graphite, which costs two coal over two seconds, it gives me 6.75, which is extra energy, okay? But if I run into here, it turns into 9.72, which means this is technically less power, but more convenient for me to put in my pocket and also more convenient to burn an egress. Also, you have a fuel chamber generation bonus of 50%. Uh, you have a generation bonus of 80%. So that means it you get you get mm, free power. Let's go with free power. Uh, can I box? Can I put a box? Can a box reach? Probably. Uh, can I go into a box and into a box? We're not going to cap them at all. We're just going to let them fill up because, like I said, this is a starter patch. I don't care about it. All right. Uh, steel was the other thing I wanted to try and get up and running. Uh, smelter, right there, please. And also a box. Can I put the box there? Can I put a smelter here? And we just need in and out so we're going to keep this really simple i'm just going to take the iron and i'm going to resmelt it into steel and that is the scope of that particular build it's not complicated it doesn't need to be complicated i'm just going to fill up a box with steel i'm also going to end this episode here uh yeah we've got a lot done already an awful lot done we've got an awful lot of more tech tree to get through uh but we have a very good start a very very good start in my opinion um, sure, we are running on a whole lot of wind turbines and power's at 95%, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, we're on our way to unlocking oil. I also want to grab some of those, which we're going to talk about in the next episode. They'll let us uh, charge up Icarus a little bit faster, uh, straight from the power grid rather than burning things. And that is oil unlocked right there, which means the next episode, I need to get oil up and running, which means I need to get a whole bunch more infrastructure up and running. Also means um, I need to go closer to our friends over here but uh we're gonna be talking about all that in the very next episode either way i'm gonna leave this episode here as always thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed and if you're new to the channel maybe you should consider hitting the subscribe button you know that way you get notified about the next episode and the one after that anyway that's it we're out thanks for watching see you next one bye